Hey EC Athletics, my name is Taylor Campbell and we're back with another episode of Senior Spotlight. This is episode 5 and we're here with the ladies from Women's Basketball. These are a few of our seniors. So I'm going to let them introduce themselves, tell us a little bit about them and their majors here at Emanuel. So guys, go ahead. Hi, my name is Emily and I'm a kinesiology major here. I'm a senior. One more year. <laughs> Hey, I'm Hope. I'm a biology major, and I'm also a senior, so we're almost done. Yeah, awesome, guys. So where are you from originally? I'm from Cumming, Georgia. And I'm from Jefferson, Georgia, so pretty close. Two Georgia ladies here at EC. So they've both been here all four years at Emanuel, so I want them to share just a favorite memory or experience from playing basketball throughout the years. Um, the first one that actually comes to mind is one of our teammates, um, was dribbling the ball of the court and thought there was maybe one second on the clock and then just launches the ball mid um, game and we were all like, what are you doing? <laughs> That's got to be my favorite memory. Um, I had a funny one come to mind. I actually don't know if Coach Vaughn knows like that I thought this was funny, but I had got pulled out of the game and he was calling a play like this when I ran by him and I accidentally high-fived him <laughs> and just kept running down the bench, so it was pretty embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Thanks, y'all. So how did each of you initially first get into basketball? Like what sparked your interest? Or um, I think, I mean, playing as a kid, I just played everything, like, you know, everything under the sun. But um, I guess my, my dad really pushed me to get into basketball. He liked it. He liked watching it. And um, ever since then, that's what I stuck with. Yeah, um, playing as a kid, of course, but my mom played basketball, you know, all through school, all through high school, so she was she was a good player, too, so she really was, like, you know, my rec ball coach and stuff, so she always pushed me. Yeah, and we've asked all the seniors of the other teams how COVID has kind of impacted their team and how you guys have been preparing, so what does that look like for basketball? Um, I mean... We can, it didn't really impact us like our season in general, but just not knowing if we would have a season the next coming up, you know, just sitting there thinking, are we even going to play? That kind of impacted me for sure. Yeah, we um, we played like our last game of the season, the last Saturday of spring break, like before spring break, and then we never came back to school. So mm -hmm. we, we got put out, so we really didn't get our season canceled. Any We didn't lose any games, but for sure even now waiting and seeing that when our season will start like we're still unsure about the fall and stuff we know hopefully we'll play in january but we just want to get games in and play our senior year yeah this summer like what did preparation look like for you guys were you able to get in the gym with covid and how intense it was and all of the unknowns or was that a little different and restricted for you um yeah i was actually able to get into the gym um just not knowing if we were ha like having a season kind of impacted me or whatever but it didn't it didn't really stop it yeah, around my area, I found it a little tougher to get into the gym because, like, my high school, they had strict rules, you know, nobody outside the high school bubble could get in the gym and stuff. But, I mean, it we, we found a way, you know, there's always running outside and everything, right. so it worked out. Great. So what are some of your expectations for this upcoming season for, you know, you guys as seniors and leaders on the team and then just for the team in general? Um, honestly, I just want to win. <laughs> um, uh, just because it's our senior year and, you know, I want to leave everything on the floor, and, you know, just our last time going around and um, I'm excited to play with all these people I've been here with. Um, but yeah, and I think the expe expectations for our team, um, I think we're chasing after a ring. Just yeah, like I said, it's our final year, I think that's what we want. That's what we're going to do. Absolutely. Yeah, we, I mean, you know, we won a conference two years ago, our sophomore year, and it would be awesome to, you know, be a two-time winner before we graduate. Mm -hmm. um, but our expectations, like, with COVID haven't changed. Like, we still want everybody to work as hard as they possibly can to, to have the best season we can. Yeah. Does the basketball team have, like, a motto or a team verse? And would you guys mind sharing kind of what those mean to you individually? Mm -hmm. Well, we actually came up with something new this year. It's called Lions Mentality. Okay. Um, the L stands for lead by example. The O is open-minded. The I is integrity. And the N is no I in team. And so we all came up with that together. Mm -hmm. And it just stands for, um, you know, us coming in here and being Lions. You know, like we want to come out and perform each of those. When we come out to practice, whether it's practice, a game, in life, like basketball, whatever. 
And then our second, like, we, we kind of have a team motto from a verse. It's Matthew 6, 8, which says, don't be like them. And Coach really pushes us not to be like other teams, to, you know, come in and work hard every day and don't do the things other, other teams do, you know, do, do more. Absolutely. What are you guys looking forward to this season? I know that we mentioned a little bit about a ring and just winning, mm -hmm. but within your team and within the chemistry and just between you seniors, like, what are you looking forward to? I'm looking forward to just playing my last year with the people I love most. You mm -hmm. know, I just, I'm just i really excited. And whether we win or lose, whatever, I'm just going to leave it on the floor with everybody that I love. Yeah, and I feel like we for sure have a unique opportunity as seniors because we've had like two and three seniors throughout the year. There's eight of us, you know, that's that's a super like big group. And I think we have a good bond between us, but we, we want to see it grow stronger. And like Ann said, actually getting to play, like we want to play. Yeah. yeah, for sure. So what are you guys' plans, goals, hopes for after graduation? I know that's coming up and I know it's kind of a <laughs> tough time right now with COVID and everything, but what are you dreaming about? I actually had like a recent dream, like I changed my major from biology to kinesiology and I hope to go to grad school for occupational therapy, yeah. so that's, that's the plan. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I want to get into grad school for PA or physician assistant, so we're both working on that now. We'll get there. Yeah. yeah. Well, I know EC Athletics is really looking forward to a great season for me guys and I'm excited for y'all. <laughs> Um, it's going to be a great senior year. Thanks for being here today and for just sharing a little bit about the basketball team. And we'll see you next week.